It is adieu, adieu, remember me. Now, these are words from William Shakespeare, and it is the words that the ghost of Hamlet's father says to his son, Hamlet, in the play. It's really interesting. Now, I'm a Shakespeare junkie, and I've always wondered, uh, uh, why remember me? Why not avenge me? Why not help me remember me? Because that's what we all want to be. And Jan Ewing has picked up where the Off-Off-Broadway movement began. And he has notated some of the notable productions of Off and Off-Off-Broadway in his book series, Ewing Reviewing, which has a 2018 edition, a 2019 edition, and he didn't stop there. We have a pandemic 2020 edition. Um, and, and speaking of, of legendary things, we have a legendary artist that is in that book, and I'm absolutely thrilled to speak to him. Charles Bush is here with us. Mr. Bush, it's a pleasure to meet you, even cyberly. How are you? I'm doing very well. Yeah, surprisingly. I, I shouldn't say it. I, I think we just oh, it's having a terrible time. No, I'm doing fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know we all feel guilty. Oh, I'm doing great. Oh, wait a minute. What's wrong with saying no, it? No, I don't want to say it. Oh, no, 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 I've been busy. No, it's been kind of amazing that um, I actually, uh, during this pandemic, um, wrote and co-wrote, co-directed and starred in a, in a feature length film that we shot with all sorts of very strict COVID um, protocols. And uh, yeah, wow. we're in post-production now. So yeah, so I mean, I, I've actually, and yeah, and then I guess I also did um, about seven Zoom play readings, uh, old plays and new plays and, no, it's been okay. Yeah, you know, well, uh, uh, the ambitious, the industrious uh, have taken this time to to master this new this new art we have, this new medium, and 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 have run with it. I say yes to everything. Well, well, you, you you look wonderful. So apparently, that's that's the fountain of youth is just to say yes a lot. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Now you have a you have a play that was uh, in Jan Ewing's book that was in the twenty twenty edition. What play was that? It was a play um, called the, the Confession of Lily Dare, and it was um, presented by Primary Stages Theater Company at the this wonderful historic Cherry Lane Theater wow. down here in the West Village. And, and yet, you know, and um, we, we finished our limited run on March 5th. I mean, talk about just <sighs> good timing, because yeah, if we, if we had been, and, and it's funny is that at one point we were, um, uh, during the, the previous year, you know, the Cherry Lane Theater, it, it's very difficult to schedule things there and, and um, many things happening. So there was some talk about, oh, maybe we should postpone our play for th a few months. Thank God we did. We would never have done it. And, yeah. and, and, how, and it was sweet, though, that we had a, a proper closing and didn't have to close, you know, a week later under a cloud. Right, right. <laughs> this is one of the few times you say, good, I'm glad we weren't extended. Yeah, exactly. I'm glad we were never extended. No, it was a wonderful experience. Um, uh, now, if I heard somebody else say this, I'd probably roll my eyes and think, yeah, yeah. But it, it might be my favorite um, play that I've done, you know, and I've done a lot of them over 40 years. Indeed, so, I uh, plays and films. Uh, I, I remember seeing you uh, in a film many years ago and I was, I was tremendously impressed. So I'm- Tolerance I'm... by D.W. Griffith. That's the one. <laughs> Mr. Griffith is marvelous to work with, yes. We were inventing an art form. Uh, well, you indeed have invented an art form. Tell us about, uh, tell us about uh, Lily Dare. Uh, uh, what, what's, what's it about? It was, um, you know, a lot of, so many of my plays were, um, or have been um, kind of homages to um, a film genre. You no, know, I wouldn't say, I, I, I think it would be inaccurate to say that I was even a parodist or, or a satirist. You know, I just lo love classic film. And so th these plays that I've done just really honor what I, what I love about them and, and even perhaps sometimes what's foolish about them. Uh, so Lily Dare was, uh, it, it was, it, it was a much a very um, um, obscure film genre. Uh, called the Confession Film in the early 30s, during the what was known as the pre-code era film before there was uh, censorship, uh, Hollywood imposed censorship, 
And so um, I played this, uh, this young girl, uh, Lily starts off uh, where she's a, a young convent girl who goes to San Francisco to, to stay with her only um, living relative who happens to be the madam of a brothel on the Barbary Coast. And, and then like these, a lot of these movies like the, like Madam X or the Sin of Madeleine Claudet, um, uh, Frisco Jenny, a lot of them aren't, they're obscure movies. Um, she goes through just all these different transformations and she becomes a, a, a cabaret artist and, and then uh, she becomes the madam of a string of brothels and ultimately a you know, waterfront you know, alcoholic. But it's a, it's a, um, a, mother, a mother love story because I, I just have always been a sucker for anything like that. And, and so this, basically she has a, a illegitimate child, a daughter she gives up and but is always haunted by and, and they find each other. You know, toward the end of, of the course they do. They have big, to. Big, it was a big tearjerker. And what was fun, the challenge, and what we what Carl Andrus, who directs so many of my plays, what the two of us wanted to do was we wanted to have a lot of fun with the um, the conventions of the genre and you know the some of the outrageousness of it. But we really wanted to see whether in this jaded times that we live in, could could we have this tearjerker actually have an emotional payoff to an audience as if they really were watching the movie on TCM, you know? And, uh, and it took, uh, you know, I have to say, you know, very careful um, writing, directing and, and acting. And, and we, you know, I was lucky that, you know, we you know, assembled this, you know, wonderful cast who I, are all were people that I'd worked with before, you know, I, I knew could do this um, where, we had to walk this tightrope of um, comedy and and pathos, and and, and it was very tricky because um, we, you know, the audiences really came to to laugh, you know, uh, you know, to have a good time. I'm a comic writer, um, and we had to always give them the right right clue to, that okay, now this part where we we, we really want to hit your emotions, we're not spoofing it. Or, or or whatever. So um, yeah, it was, it was fascinating, fascinating experience to do. And I, I thought we were really quite successful because we could hear it toward the end of the play or numerous times during the play, audible you know, sniffling and, 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 you know, uh, I don't think it was the flu season actually. But they were, they were, they were weeping, weeping in the, in the fourth row. So I, I was just delighted. It was a wonderful experience. Yeah. Well, you're, you're the master of that. I remember seeing you in a film and it was a film noir or it was your, your, your homage to a film noir. And I remember watching it and thinking, he's not making fun of this genre. This is dead serious. And, and it so pulled me in. I, I, I think it's, it's the fact that you love these eras and that you put so much into them that we, we see your heart come through. And and we 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 join we join in the emotion so easily. Yeah, I, that's the thing. I, that's you know I I think years ago when I'd be asked about at it what I do, you know, I just to simplify things, I'd I'd agree that I was parodying these movies or or in some cases theatrical genres, but it really wasn't true. It really wasn't. Um, no, it, no. I, it's hard. It's really is, it's kind of hard to describe what what I do, you know. And, and yet, yet you f feel like you have to be able to, you know. You, you know, you you exist in a realistic world that you have to define yourself frequently for for consumption, you know. And um, and so it's hard. So sometimes I've over the years have been trying to simplify what I do. I've actually been rather sending out the wrong message. So I, I, I guess, it, yeah, that's why the word homage seems to somehow be closer than, than satire. I, I, purposely, I purposely quoted Shakespeare at the beginning because when, when I see your work because of the seriousness you do, and yet you are playing these women's roles, just as in the days of Shakespeare, uh, uh, the, the actor had to play all roles, male, female, right, and right. They, had to, they had to obviously be convincing. They can't wink to the audience that they're that they're yeah, they're yeah. in drag, um, and and that's what you do. That's what you yeah, do. You play convincingly. 
when I was first starting out, you know, I was so young, there were times where I, th I thought that, oh, the audience, you know, wants to see the wig slip or something, or, you know, that, that that's, oh, isn't it funny that it's a guy doing it? But I, I noticed there's a few times I tried to get a laugh that way. Oh, it just died. Oh, it's just awful. They, now, my particular, the people come to see me in the kind of play that I do or, you know, or, or a few movies I've made, they, they just, you know, we buy it, we accept it. You, you say you're, you're this, playing this lady, we accept it. Now just tell us the story. And That's then exactly they, don't right. want, they don't want to wink and, uh, you know, uh, uh, yeah, and, but, and, uh, yeah. That, there, there are, there is a place for that, but that's not yours. Yours, yours yeah. is, is, is real, for lack of a better term. Um, yeah. now, now you've been doing this a while. Uh, you've seen, you've seen, uh, you, you, you've seen trends come and go. We're, we're right in the middle of, of a defining moment in our lives and we're, you know, as vaccines are happening and as, as, as the administration has changed in Washington, we're yeah. seeing the, uh, a return. Um, what kind of theater do you think we're going to return to? Are we going back to business as usual or, no. or are we looking at something different? Well, I think, I think the um, Black Lives Matter um, movement, I think more than anything is, is going to inform the, th the theater. And I think it's already, I, I see, you know, the plays that are being scheduled by the different nonprofit theaters. And I think they're, re they're really, you know, they've been called out on the exclusionary, uh, I don't know, politics that they've just subconsciously been doing. Mm -hmm. And they're, it seems like they're really making an effort to hear diverse voices. So I think we're going to see a lot of that. I don't think so. I, I, I don't think it's going to be business as usual for, for that. Um, I, I don't know about um, what's going to happen with you know big Broadway shows. I mean, it, it does seem it, it does seem like it's going to be a while before the mass public feels so secure that they want to be shoulder to shoulder in a, in a crowded theater. Mm -hmm. How about the intimate theaters, the theaters for which for which we thrive? Uh, do you think they'll come back sooner? Do you think people will? Uh, okay, maybe there'll only be twenty people in the house, but that's already half the house. Uh, do you think? Uh, do you think that we'll see all fall? I, I don't know. I, I you know I don't know. I'm I, I. That might be more difficult in some ways, hmm. because how do you how do you uh, survive a play a, if, if a theater only holds? Um, 75 seats. You, what are you gonna? How can they afford to do a play if there's if you only sell 10 of them? You know, I, and I, honey, I, you know, I, I've had the experience of playing comedy. <laughs> it ain't fun. No, I, uh, you know, I, I played in front of six people, 20 people, and with, it's hard to get them worked up. <laughs> oh, oh, I completely understand. <laughs> Yeah, um, I don't know what's going to happen. I, I, but I, I really do believe that, you know, two thousand years of theater isn't coming to an end. Where there's, it's part of the human condition to, to tell stories, and to listen to stories, and to listen to them among a group of people. That's, oh, it, it, I, it just doesn't, it won't end. So I, but I, I, so I don't know. I mean, you know, if the, if the vaccine is really heavily distributed and, and the bulk of people get it, maybe, maybe we'll go back to some semblance of normalcy. I sure hope so. Well, I, I agree with you. Storytelling is not going away. How we tell the story, that's, that's another story. But, but in the end, uh, I think we're all, we're, we're all going to come together to see Charles Bush in, in a noir piece, in a confession piece, in German expressionism, in in anything else, uh, uh, because you are you you're a force to reckon with, and and uh, and it's always a pleasure to see you on stage, and a pleasure to meet you here. Yes, uh, ladies and gentlemen, to to find out about Mr. Bush's piece and all the others that are in Ewing reviewing, you can order the book uh, early at popsbooks.com. That's p-u-p-s books. Dot com. There are discounts. You can get the book now. Otherwise, it will be on Amazon.com as well as wherever quality books are sold probably in the next few weeks. And this interview and several others from 
Ewing Reviewing, as well as other independent artists, film and theater, are on Channel I. Channel I is a YouTube station, and to find out more information, you go to jmichaelsarts.com, J-A-Y-M-I-C-H-A-E-L-S-A-R-T-S.com. There is a link that takes you there, and there is over 100 interviews right now with independent artists of, of all disciplines, so you can learn about, about the foundation of, of, the, of the New York theater, amongst others. Uh, Mr. Bush, thank you so much for taking the time to speak to me. It's it's a real pleasure. I'm I'm a fan, so I'm I'm oh, I'm you. rightfully intimidated that oh. I was uh, I was able to speak fun. to you. Um, um, thanks so much, and all the best, and 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 here's to seeing you again on stage. Okay, bye bye.